Hello everyone, this is Jag. Well, in this video, I'll show you how you can make your own instant cheese, which is also known as paneer. And you only need two ingredients to make your cheese, which is full fat milk and either vinegar or lemon juice. So let's get started. I'm using a deep pasta pan or a deep saucepan like this. Next, I'm adding one and a half gallon or about five liters of milk. Next, set the heat to medium. Bring the milk to boil, however, keep an eye on the milk so that it does not boil over. Right when the milk reaches boiling point like this, turn the heat off so that the milk does not boil over. I'm using apple cider vinegar to separate fat from my milk. You can also use lemon juice as well. Add one tablespoon of vinegar at a time to your milk until the fat from the milk separates from the water. It might take two or three tablespoons depending on the amount of milk you have. All right, there you go. The fat has separated from the water. This is what you're aiming for. At this point, we don't need to add any more vinegar. Next, I'm using a saucepan with a strainer like this to strain out water from the fat. Put the saucepan in the sink so that the excess water can drain away. Put cheesecloth in the strainer. Next, add all the water and fat that we just separated right into the cheesecloth. Pull the cheesecloth up so that it does not go under the cheese. Lift the cheesecloth and drain away any excess water. Put the cheesecloth back and add more fat and water in there. You might have to repeat the process a couple of times. At last, gather all your cheese with the cheesecloth and then drain away all the water. Next, cover with cheesecloth all the way around. Next, add another saucepan filled with water right on top of the cheesecloth for added weight. Make sure the saucepan is level so that the water does not spill out. Press the pan on top of the cheesecloth to extract additional water from the fat. Keep the weight on cheesecloth for two hours. While making your instant cheese, make sure you're using the full fat milk. That way you get the most amount of cheese. So it's been two hours, so let's uncover this and see what we got. The cheese looks really pressed and this additional water that came out of the cheese as well. So let's open this up and see what we have. So I'm going to remove all the cheesecloth from top of the paneer or the instant cheese and then I'm going to place it upside down on the plate and it comes right off. Well, this meal of cheese came out really good and it only took 2 hours and 15 minutes to make this instant cheese out of which 15 minutes were actual real work. 2 hours was just waiting around for all the water to drain and the cheese to compress. Well, check it out. Well, let's cut this open and see how it is. So, let me take a slice out here. Actually, I'm craving cake after cutting this cheese. I don't know if it's just me or if it's you as well. Well, check out this cheese. This is instant fresh cheese. If you use organic milk, you can make your own organic cheese. So let's weigh this cheese and see how much cheese we got for one and a half gallon of milk. First, I'm going to zero out the weight of the plate. So we got two pounds of cheese, which is 0.93 kilograms. One and a half gallon of organic milk costs about $7, which produces two pounds of cheese. So our instant cheese is three and a half dollars per pound. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you can make your own fresh instant cheese and live a healthy life. And you can roast this cheese, add to your sandwiches, salads, or make spinach and cheese, which is also called palak paneer. And I'll see you in another video.